Hello, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, I get to reveal the Monkey Cycle Mark II project. Cue the intro. Well, just before we start this big reveal of the Monkey Cycle Mark II, I just want to say I've been doing my absolute best to try to put some money together to be able to make this happen because it's awesome to have like a Monkey Cycle camper van as part of the channel that just opens up so much for us to go and do. So let's hope you enjoy this. So I've just picked up an absolute beauty, a masterpiece, something that I think could be made into one of the best ever monkey cycle camper vans in the world. Now I want the Mark II to be bigger and better. Now think 11 out of 10, think of the big, cool, do-it-yourself camper vans that you see people are selling that are just absolutely fantastic. And then think base project, because this project is gonna be massive. But ladies and gentlemen, I wanna give you the monkey cycle camper van Mark II bare bones before the project really begins but i've bought myself a real gem check this out Okay, okay, I know what you're thinking. It's rusty, it's got a hole in the seat, it looks past its best. But at the same time, this could be the 11 out of 10 Monkey Cycle Camper Mark II of my dreams. So bear with me, and what I'll do is I will give you a tour and a kind of idea that I've got. And hopefully, you'll build up a picture and go, I see what he's thinking there. But ladies and gentlemen, what a beast okay so let's start with the front and what, what what my sort of vision is at the minute now don't get me wrong this is probably all going to change once i speak to the psychic if i can talk the psychic into helping me but if not we will do a full 11 out of 10 job so obviously the helmet head logo on here has to be a must we're going to obviously get a new grill because it's just got a massive hole in it because obviously a badger has attacked it at some point we'll put some black to black over that so it's nice and shiny and again all the side of this all the sort of rusty bits i am going to sort out and probably paint the entire van yet but anyway that's all going to be the same and the same on this side eat pie ride motorcycles be happy helmet head logo subscribe and all that jazz it's going to be cool i might even put the side kicks name somewhere on there if he does decide to help but hey he's a busy man so the arches all that stuff's going to be sorted out i'm going to probably paint the wheel something like luminous yellow and then of course we come to the back now the back of the van the beauty of it now what we have here okay is a, this is a 17 seater van and a lot of these aren't even bolted in properly from whoever trashed it as the last owner now i need this to be a dual vehicle so i'm going to keep the first sort of so the front seat the first sort of layer and the second layer of seats this one's going to come out all the rest are going to come out as well and then my plan of it is is to have a kitchen over here and then have hopefully a fold down bed that will come out of here 
so that can go up and the motorcycle can go in there so i can use this for my family and then it will be the monkey cycle camper as well and pretty much my plan is to make it into a dual use vehicle like i said so i can use this to take out my family and, and also use it as a camper van it's going to be absolutely awesome i cannot wait obviously i have no idea what i'm doing in any way whatsoever at all but i am extremely lucky to have the sidekick and obviously it's his trade he is literally a pro at building camper vans i've just got to somehow talk him into giving up his spare time to do what he does at work for me for a bag of peanuts i reckon i can get away with it i reckon i can get this done but just imagine what this could be it could be so awesome we can have banana fairy lights around the top of this van it would be absolutely cool like a disco going on in the back it's just i can't wait for this we can have a really like the bespoke wooden kitchen style over here not made cheaply and nasty in any way with an awesome sink and you know a cooker so i can cook my baked beans on toast when i'm away and i just can't wait for the luxury fold down bed i just can't wait for it with a perfectly lovely mattress with whatever they say like jersey sheets or sheepskins all over it to make it look really cool and sexy but pretty much this side is going to be the camper i just cannot wait to get started i just hope it doesn't break down before we finish so my first job before i start doing all the stuff i want to do to the inside is to give it a full service and a proper full service get this engine to make sure it's exactly sweet there's no issues with it whatsoever because i don't particularly want to break down on the first proper trip that i do on it because that would just you know be like what happened to me before so i want to make this really secure and safe so engine first after i've done the engine i'm going to concentrate on the bodywork and once i've concentrated on the bodywork then i'm going to start with the build it's going to be a mini series about making this happen and hopefully by the end of this i will have an unbelievable Believable, cool really usable multi-purpose vehicle so i can put even the cb500x in the back of this and go off somewhere like scotland wild camp if i needed to unload the bike and go off on absolutely awesome tours that's the whole plan now the sidekick is buying himself a van and he's is obviously going to be not as good as mine because mine's 11 out of 10 but he's buying himself a van and you know it's going to be good um but do you know what? Between us, if we can both have something like this to go off on some of the really cool trips, not just cost saving, but like massive adventure. Now, I'm not going to lie and turn around and say I've got loads of money. I've literally had to scrape the barrel to pick this up. But for me, I need something as a base. I can go out what doesn't include the massive cost of hotels at this time. And by building this, this potentially is going to be a way of getting the channel to do some serious touring at some serious budget sort of money. And I am going to buy a tent. The UK trip is going to happen, definitely. And I will be doing that all via tent on the monkey bike and obviously the psychic on the Vespa. But for all the little trips we want to do, for the time scales that we've got and how busy life is, this is just going to be awesome and open up so much more. I just can't wait to start this project so i am literally now going to go home and take some of the seats out and put some bolts in some of these seats because if you look that is not really bolted in so of course i'm gonna have to put the bolts in properly for the seats that i want make sure that are safe everything i'll give this a good clean down and wash but ladies and gentlemen the monkey cycle camper mark ii the project has started i just want to say if anybody does want to help with sorting out this project to the point of being able to you know donate anything towards it or if they're interested in helping the funding because it's going to take me some time and the quickest i can get this vehicle done and finished the bigger the more adventures that we can do and even the further field we can travel to hopefully be able to ride with some of the guys that really enjoy this channel in the future so if anybody is interested down in the description there is a paypal uh, link if anybody wants to donate any money towards getting this done i would generally appreciate it because it's going to take me a lot of hard work and a lot of time to get this and the money together to get this completed so if you are interested in helping out on that basis please click on that link and you know it would really help and again if you're not a patron and you want some kind of some, something back for sort of helping out then if you click on that patron link you will see the videos first you will get your names in the credits and at the end of the day it does really help this channel out so again there is a few options i'm not one who wants to go begging and asking but i'm just saying if i can get this done quicker if i can get some support if i can get some decent money together the better that this is going to be but hey 
we've got a project and it's going to be on the channel and it's going to be awesome and maybe in the future i might even do something like i did with a gofundme and be able to put some names on the side but i don't want to say or do that until i'm at the point where i can put their names on because it would be unfair but they're all options but anyway we're going to make this into one amazing camper van well there you go i mean this is going to be absolutely awesome i cannot wait to build this and make it into the best monkey cycle camper van in the world now the thing i've got to do is take it around to the sidekick and try and talk him into obviously doing majority of the work and pretending that i've done it myself and uh, hopefully his reaction will be really positive and helpful um <laughs> can't wait to see his reaction to this but anyway it's going to be an amazing project hopefully by the time that we finish and a true helmet head 11 out of 10 style camper i just want to say a massive thank you to my patrons because without them stuff like this could not happen if you are interested in supporting the channel like those amazing people do then please click in the link in the description down below you can literally help out for as much as you like a month and you do get to see those videos first and when i say there's quite a few there's quite a few so you get literally right up to date by being on patreon instead of having to wait for weeks sort of on youtube but there you go if you could i'd really really appreciate it and of course if you haven't hit that subscribe button you want to watch this build or any of the other crazy stuff then please hit that subscribe button that thumbs up that bell button and of course before you disappear please leave a nice comment and then you know there's only really three things to say before i have to take this round to the sidekick and, and and get told off and that of course we live by the gospel the most important thing that's eat pie ride motorcycles and be happy i will see you in the next bonkers helmet head adventure bye bye for now